This is Dr. Maulana Karinga, the professor and chairman of the Department of Africana Studies at Cal State University, Long Beach, and the creator of Kwanzaa. Today, Dr. Karinga will be explaining the meaning of Kaumba, the sixth principle of Kwanzaa. What does Kaumba mean? The sixth principle is Kaumba creativity. To do always as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited. What a beautiful thought, right? That you do what you can, right? The the uh Odu Ifa, the sacred text of the of ancient Yoga land, says, let's do things with joy. For surely humans have been chosen to bring good in the world. And we say, then that's the fundamental mission and meaning of human life. That's our purpose, but it also tells us to be creative and to be happy in that creativity, right? And so our purpose is to not be over anybody, but with everybody to choose to do good in the world and to do it in a creative way, Kumba says, right? And so when we talk about creativity, we also talk about we doing the creativity for ourselves and the world. So here I introduce the ancient Egyptian ethical concept, Martian concept, from my philosophy Kaweida, I created called Sarujta. It means to repair, renew, and remake the world, making it more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited, just like Kuumba, right? And that means if we practice it, to read, and this is for not only the earth, which is very important, but also human relations. It says for those things that are harmed, let us raise up what is in ruins, repair what is damaged, replenish what is depleted, rejoin what is separated, set right what is wrong, strengthen what is weakened, and make flourish that which is fragile and undeveloped. How can Kaumba help us in the social justice movements of today? Kaumba creativity. You know, Dr. Mir McClavithum, Nana, Dr. Mir McClavithum said, we must always support our youth and their creativity. Never block their zeal, but cultivating them an appreciation for building on the legacy left them. She said, we are heirs and custodians of a great legacy. And we say, thus we must bear the burden and glory of that legacy with strength, dignity, and determination. Be creative. Imagine a new world. Reimagine a new society. Reimagine new relationships. Reimagine again a new world. New relationship with the environment. Let's imagine and reimagine. Let's be creative. Let's do art and literature. Let's perform, let's imagine and bring into being something good, beautiful. I think of soul, that's that's what we have. Mm -hmm. People try to give it to other people, but I don't know, this is our unique <laughs> way of being human in the world. We have this quality called soul. We have soul music, soul food, right? Soul preaching, soul teaching, right? We just soul train, we have soul. And that meant excellence, excellence. If African means anything, it means excellent. People say you got soul food, you know that's excellent food. Mm -hmm. You got soul music, you know that's excellent music, mm -hmm. right? And so that's a standard for our excellence. And it's something that defines us in our uniqueness. Keep that, keep that, reaffirm it. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of my interview with Dr. Karinga. Stay tuned for more segments of the interview and other different videos. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, stay true to yourself.